hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to use link query in power automate desktop using dotnet script action so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so first of all what we are going to do is we will use the attached to running excel and from here i will choose the document name so i have already opened the excel file as this excel file is already open that is why i am using the attached to running excel instance i will minimize it Next action that I'm going to use is read from Excel worksheet. In the retrieve, I will use all available values from Excel worksheet. And then I will go to advanced. And here I'll specify that the first line of range contains column names. And the data will be stored in the Excel data. So let's quickly run this bot and see. As you can see that we have this data here which we read from the excel now what we are going to do is we are going to use the run.net script action before that we need to make sure that we have the required dll files to be able to use the link query in power automate desktop So first of all, what you have to do is you have to download these two DLL files and place it into a folder. So what I have done is I have placed it inside the D drive sample files, which is the folder name. And then I have a folder which is named as assemblies. After this, I will go back to the power automate desktop. Now here, what I will do is I will use this run.net script. language it is already selected as c sharp and here i'll specify the file path i will go to d drive sample file and from here i'll choose the assemblies and now what i want to do is i want to create a parameter so I'll name it as DTXL data. The type will be data table. And I want to bring this data table inside this .NET script action. So I'll keep the direction as in. And here I will choose the variable. So that is Excel data. And I will create one more data table variable let's say sample output and here i'll choose the direction as i'll choose the data type as data table direction is going to be out and here i'll specify the variable name which is sample output now what i want to do is i want to copy the structure of excel data data table variable the structure as in what is the column names and all those stuff so since i have given the table name as dt underscore excel data i'll use this variable dot clone so when you will use the clone function it will copy the structure of the data table into this data table okay so we can quickly test it I will click on run as you can see the structure of that table is copied here now we will start writing the link query 
So what I want to do is here I want to filter the data table. To filter the data table, I will use this DTXL data, which is a variable where we have passed or copied the data from Excel data data table variable to DT underscore Excel data. And then I will use dot as enumerable. dot then I will use this where function and here I'll specify the type of it so it is going to be a data row inside the where function I will use i is equal to i dot field and here I need to specify what is the type of this field and now I'll specify the column name. So in my case, I have a column which is named as company name. And the function which we have is equals. I'll specify the company name as IT solutions. right so now it will be able to copy the or filter the data from the data table now we need to copy this filter data to the sample output so i will specify the function name which is copy to data table and then i'll put the semicolon now let's run the bot and see if it is working As you can see, it has been able to copy the or filter the data from the data table and copied it to the sample output. Consider a scenario where you want to apply filter based on multiple values. So what you can do is you can come here and copy this data till here where you have applied the filter and then use double pipe which is for or operation and then you can paste it now you can specify your second condition so in my case i have a company which is named as medicare and now i will click on save and i will run the bot now here you can see that now we have two two com different company name which is it solutions and medicare and which has written the three rows right so this is how you can use a link query to be able to copy or filter the data from the data table in power automate desktop So this is one way of copying the data table. Now let's understand the second method of it. So first of all, what we are going to do is we will declare a variable, which is I enumerable. Specify the type of it, which is data row. And I will name the variable as dr and then i will write this code which is from my row in so this is kind of loop and then dtxl data dot as enumerable Then I'll go to the next line and write where my row dot field specify the type of this field which is a string and let's say company name which is 
name of the column and then I will convert it to a string or if it is already string you do not need to convert and then I want to say equals and this is going to accept a parameter which is name of the company so I can give it as IT solutions now in the next line I can say that select my row In the first scenario, you have seen that we have directly copied the data table into the sample output data table. But in this case, what we are doing is we are applying a loop on this DT underscore Excel data. And whatever the filtered rows we are finding, we are storing it into the DR variable. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we will copy it to the sample output so i will copy paste the sample output variable here and then i'll use this variable which is storing the rows and then i will write copy to data table And here I'll specify the type of it, which is data row. Now I will click on save and run the bond. Let's check the column. It is saying that company does not belong to table, which is correct because we need to have the column name company name. So this is the column that we have in the Excel file. I will click on save and then I will run the bot. And now you can see that we have got a row in the sample output data table. So this was the second method of filtering the data table and storing it into another data table. Okay, so now we will go back to our first method. Now in this case, what we want to do is we want to make use of certain functions. Right, so I will just remove this complete part of it. After as enumerable, we have a function which is called as take and here we can specify the number of rows that we want to copy to sample output right and then we are going to make use of the function which is copy to data table now I will click on save and then run the bot and now here you can see that it has got only one row from the dt underscore excel data data table i will click on this so that it clears the data from these variables the next method that we want to take a look at is skip so you can just specify how many rows you want to skip then you can click on save and then run the bot now here you can see that it has skipped the two rows so if you see your original data it has first two rows as john and jane and if you see here we don't have those two rows here so like this you can skip the rows using the skip function and then you can use this copy to 
data table function to copy this into another data table which is sample output so this is how you can filter out the data table using the link queries in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day